Yeah, despite our repeated requests for an on-camera interview, we were told that the congressman is not yet doing them, but he did talk rather frankly with a national conservative podcast, The Dispatch, about his decision. In the hour-long conversation with The Dispatch in a podcast titled One of Ten, Congressman Anthony Gonzalez spoke of being one of ten Republican members of Congress to vote for impeachment. He said he had issues with former President Trump's actions leading up to January 6, as well as the speech he gave that day. But the thing that put him over the top was the president's inaction, he said, in the time between the Capitol first being stormed and the National Guard ultimately being called. I think I'd probably be a no if you know he had seen all this and immediately said, hey, cut this out. Here comes the National Guard. We're done. Um, this isn't what I wanted. Uh, but instead, you know, we had multiple hours uh, go by. Uh, and the first tweet that went out was actually attacking the vice president while the Capitol was under siege. Asked if he considered the political ramifications of his vote, Gonzalez said he did, but... You have to love your country and you have to adhere to your oath more strongly than you do your job. Yes, in the short run, maybe you lose your seat, maybe you don't get to come back. But in the long arc of history, I believe it was the right vote and I believe it sends the right message. Gonzalez said he believes there is a void of principled leadership in the country that can be filled, provided our leaders do a handful of things. One of which is to simply stop lying to people. It's, it's a very simple concept. Sometimes they're not going to like the truth. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but, but we have to start there because I don't know how to govern in a world where we believe things that aren't real. And the beliefs of QAnon, one of the things that he cited there. Gonzalez, of course, is facing backlash from Republicans for his vote. The Strongsville GOP last night voting to call for his resignation. And he said to the Dispatch podcast that his family has been dealing with personal safety issues. Didn't get into further detail than that. But he believes that in the long arc of history, as he said, his vote will be proven to be the right one. Live in Shaker Heights, John Kasich, News 5.